Hello everyone and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Long before air travel, moving people and large cargo from one place to another heavily relied on the use of trains. Of course, while trains were and are still typically much cheaper and safer to operate than aircraft, they simply don't move fast enough to satisfy most travel and transportation needs. That was, however, until the development of high-speed rail, and subsequently, the bullet trains. Train manufacturers have always been working on ways to increase the speed at which trains can move. In this regard, Japan was the first country to construct an operational high-speed rail system called the Toikado Shinkansen. This rail line was opened as far back as 1964 and continues to move about 1 million passengers a day around the country at speeds of nearly 200 miles per hour. Maintaining a high-speed rail line is no easy task. In fact, neither is maintaining a subway or inner-city train line. One of the ways private and public infrastructure employees have found to mitigate these difficulties is through the use of smart maintenance. This is a process where sensors are attached to rail cars and power lines in order to monitor the status of these components in real time. By capturing all of this data and analyzing it before a problem occurs, rail line operators all over Japan are able to take a more proactive approach to maintenance, thus cutting costs while simultaneously boosting efficiency. Europe has not been left behind when it comes to developing high-speed rail systems. In fact, Europe was the first continent to allow high-speed rail travel across sovereign borders. Of course, areas like Switzerland and Norway required a lot more engineering ingenuity than Poland or Spain. This is due to the presence of many mountains and valleys, which can inhibit the design of long, slow curves and gentle gradients needed for high-speed rail travel. However, a total of 10 countries have completed interconnected rail systems as of 2022, with more on the horizon. Over in America, Amtrak, one of the country's largest passenger railroad companies, recently completed its Acela Line, which is currently the only working high-speed rail line in the U.S. The express track runs between Boston and Washington, D.C., and features stops in major cities like Baltimore, Philadelphia, and New York City. Trains on the line currently move at speeds of up to 150 miles per hour. However, once the next generation of trains is put into service, the speed will progressively increase to reach 160 miles per hour. The new Acela trains will also boast a 27% increase in number of passengers from the present 304 to 386 passengers per train. Technological improvements have not only allowed for advancements on land, but on water as well. Working against the norm, the Coast Guard icebreakers work towards hitting and breaking whatever comes across its path. The Healy, the largest of the three icebreakers of the USCG, is capable of breaking four and a half feet of ice continuously at three knots. The 16,000 tons vessel can accommodate two H-65 helicopters, 
as well as about 50 scientists that utilize the boat for research okay. activities. Man overboard procedures for GPAL. Okay, We're an optimally manned vessel, which means we only have 85 people on board, and we are the largest ship in the Coast Guard. We have a crew that uh, leans forward and does their job to their best of their ability. Uh, about 1,602 Coast Guard boats operate on the inland waterways and shore of the U.S. These smaller boats measure between 12 to 64 feet in length, including heavy weather response boats, special purpose craft, cutter-based boats, and aid to navigation boats. The 47-foot motor lifeboat is the standard lifeboat for the Coast Guard that is capable of conducting fast response rescue in high seas and extreme weather conditions. It is designed to self-right within 30 seconds when toppled over by heavy waves. From cutters, boats, fixed and rotary aircraft, and a myriad of weapons that the U.S. Coast Guard utilizes its assets to perform its responsibility. A total of 259 Coast Guard cutters performs their various role with the U.S. Coast Guards. These are vessels that are more than 65 feet long that can carry multiple cutter boat types, Arctic survey boats, and the larger ones can accommodate helicopter landing and takeoff. The cutters are equipped with accommodations for its permanent crew, where they spend an average of about 185 days in the sea. Whether working on the water, air, or ice, the dedicated men and women that work for the Coast Guard are the heroes that fortify the safety of the people and the $4.6 trillion worth of economic activity within the U.S. coasts. On average, the U.S. Coast Guard attended almost 20,000 search and rescue missions, saved more than 3,000 lives, They also conduct screenings of over 436,000 vessels, as well as 29.5 million crew members and passengers that enter the U.S. waterways. Even with its current expansive assets, the U.S. Coast Guard is already preparing for the future. Good job. From the oldest technology to the latest advancements, it's fair to see we are a species that are continuously evolving. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.